In the realm of artificial intelligence, AI, where data privacy is paramount, private GPT emerges as a game changer. This production-ready AI project opens the doors to seamless document interaction using large language models, LLMs, without the need for an internet connection. What sets it apart is its unwavering commitment to privacy. Every interaction with your documents happens exclusively within your execution environment, ensuring 100% data security. I will provide the GitHub link in my description. Understanding Private GPT At its core, Private GPT offers an API that provides the essential building blocks for creating private, context-aware AI applications. Following and extending the OpenAI API standard, this project supports both normal and streaming responses, making it versatile for various applications. Now, we go step by step to install the private GPT in our local system. Step one, clone the repository. Clone the private GPT repository. Using this command, and I will provide all the links in my description, hit enter, and a new folder is created with the name of private GPT. Now using cd private GPT command, we go inside the folder. Step two, install Python 3.11. This step sets up a virtual environment named private GPT with Python 3.11 and activates it for the subsequent installations. Hit enter after completing the code. Type Y to proceed. Now our virtual environment has created to activate the environment we use, condo activate command. Step three, install poetry and project dependencies. First type brew, install poetry. Here, poetry is installed as a dependency manager and it is then used to install the required project dependencies. It will take some time, no use. Poetry install with UI local to install some other dependencies and hit enter. It will also take some time to install. Step four, download embedding and LLM models. Download embedding and language model models. Using this command, poetry run python scripts slash setup. This will install the entire model to your system. The model is of approx 4.4 gigabytes and it will take time to install depending upon your internet speed. After installation, we come to step five, enable GPU for Mac with Metal GPU. Afterwards, you have to copy this code. In my article, I explain the each part with code so you can copy all the code from there. Link is in description. Now back to our terminal and paste the code and hit enter. This step is specific to Mac with Metal GPU. It installs the necessary components for Metal GPU support. Step six, run the local server. This command will run the model to your local server. If you're on a Mac with Metal GPU, you should see a log indicating GPU usage. And here is the link of our local server. Copy the link and paste it to your browser. After this, your interface will look like this. These steps would help you through setting up the retrieval augmented generation, RAG, framework using private GPT locally on a Mac, including interacting with documents in various formats. Apply the knowledge gained from this article in your projects and let us know about your experiences. We value your feedback. Feel free to share your thoughts, questions, or suggestions in the comments section below.